Hi students, today we will discuss how to write an assembly language program by interfacing 8255 with 8086 in mode 0. So this 8255 parallel communication interface, we have 3 port. Each port will have 8 bit data, port A, port B and port C we are dividing into 2 types. One is port C upper and port C lower. And we have two groups, group A, group B. Group A belongs to port A and port C upper. Group B is belongs to my port B and port C lower. And this 8255 parallel communication interface will have two operating modes. One is BSR mode, bit set, reset mode. The second mode will called as input and output mode. So this input and output mode we have three types. Mode 0, mode 1, mode 2. Mode 0 will called as simple input and output mode. Mode 1 is called as stroke input and output. And mode 2 will called as bidirectional stroke input and output mode. So today we are going to write the program by, by using our input and output mode in mode 0. So this is your data format for your input and output mode. So, it will be a 8 bit mode a D0 to D7. So, first we will see the D7. A D7 always represent it is the IO mode or BSR mode. So, when you have D7 value is 1 now, it is belongs to my IO mode. If it is 0 now, it is your BSR mode. Next, D6 and your D5 tell you the mode selection of our group A. So, it is a 2 bit. We will get 4 different combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1. One. So, 0, 0, na it is mode 0, 0, 1 na mode 1, 1, 0 or 0, 1 na it will be your mode 2. Next, D4, D4 tell whether your port A will act as the input and output mode. So, when the value is 1 na it will act as the input, when the value is 0 na it will act as the output. Next, D3. D3 going to tell you whether your port C upper will act as the input and output mode and D2 it will be going to tell you the mode selection for group B so since it is a single bit we have two different combinations 0 and 1 if it is 0 now it is mode 0 and 1 now mode 1 so next D1 going to represent your port B will act as the input and output mode and D0 will represent port C will act as port C lower will act as the input and output mode so, whenever the input, if it is act as the input mode, give it by 1. If it is act as the output port, now it will act. You have to hold the value by 0. So, we will write the program for this. To write the program, just consider let your port A will act as the input and your port B and port C will act as the output. And both the group A and group B will going to operate in your mode 0. So, first step, I need to initialize your A255. So, we are going to write the program for your IO. We are going to write the program for IO mode. So, first step you have to initialize. So, we know always your D7 will represent your will represent your IO mode. So, if it is IO mode now it will represent 1. If it is 0 now BSR mode. Next D7 and D6 will tell the mode selection for group A. So we are going to execute by using a mode 0. So the D6 and D5 should be 0, 0. Next D4. D4 represent your port A whether you are going to act as the input and output. So we consider your port A will are going to act as the input. Will act as the input. So the, if it is input now, your D4 should be represented by value 1. Next D3. D3 your port C upper will act as the input and output. So we are considered it is output. So your 3, 3 should be 0. Next D2 mode selection for group B. So we are considered mode 0. So D2 will 0. Next D1 port B will act as the input and output mode. We are considered as it is the output mode. So D1 will be 0. D0 your port C lower also will act as the output. So it will be 0. So you have to find out what will be the hexadecimal value for this. So 1 double 0 1 now it will be 9 and double 0 double 0 now your value will be 0.
so to initialize my a255 my value i should load in your control word register as 90 so now we'll write the program for this the procedure for uh, to write the assembly language program to interface a 8255 with 8086 in mode 0 is the first step the first step you have to initialize the control word okay well, we have to initialize your control word in the accumulator so we have been initialized so this 90 represent to initialize your 8255 so after initializing so this value 90 should be hold in your accumulator so move al comma 90 next this 90 I have to move it to my control word register so before that you have to know what will be the address for port a port b and c and control word register so from the user manual of 8255 your port a address is allocated to c0 and b is c2 port c is for c4 and control word register we have address c6 so now this 90 I have to move to my control word register so whenever you are uh, moving the content ok so we are going to load it to your control register so we will use the out instruction out port address port address for control word will be c6 comma al so inside the c6 we are going to hold the value of 90 so after initializing your a255 next you have to load your input in your port a so port a address will be c0 from the c0 the value will be moved to my accumulator so in al comma c0 next those input you have to give it to my port b ok so you have to place the data which you have been loaded in your port a to my port b so we are going to choose your port b so port b address will be c2 so out c2 comma al so your port going to act as the input so we are using in instruction and port b will act as the output will using your out instruction so out c2 comma al ok and last halt hlt so now we will execute this instruction by using your 8086 microprocessor kit. So this is your 8255 interface. So you can able to see this is your port A. Okay, wow. So this is a port A which is going to act as a switch. Okay. So through this switch I am going to give my input and the output will be displayed in your port B. So you can able to see this is your port B. So we have 8 LEDs. So what is the input you are giving in this switch that corresponding output we can able to see in your led display and we have port c so you can able to see we have port c so this l3 will represent your port 0 l12 port 1 l11 port 3 and your l10 port 5 and l9 port 7 and the port 2 4 6 will act as this three type interrupt Okay, so port C we are going to use as a LED only your 5 that is your port 0, 1, 3, 5 and 7 and the remaining 2, 4, 6 will act as the interrupt. So this is your 8255 interface. So now we will type your program. So A, enter, starting address 1000. So first line move al comma 90 so load this value to my control word register out c6 comma al next load your input so in al comma c0 and to get your output port b out c2 comma al next stop the terminate or stop your program hlt press reset now execute go space 1000 so you can now you can able to see your output in your 8255 interface so see here this is my switch ok so uh, I gave the input as 0. So when the switch is upper now it will be 0. It is down now will be 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So based on that the input which I gave in your port A 
the output will can you able to see in your port B through your LEDs. So zero no LED will be in off condition. One it is on. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Okay. Wa? So what is the input you are giving in your port A? The same our output will be can see in your port B. So I'll change one more input. Okay. Wa? I'll change and I'll give you. Okay. So my input will be zero, double one. Double zero, triple one. So again, you have to execute. Press reset. Go space thousand. So after executing, you can able to see zero, double one. LED is on. Again, double zero. LED is in off condition. Triple one. Again, your last three LED is on. So input and output. What value are loaded in your port A? The same value will be seen in your port B as your LED on/off condition. Okay. Thank you, students.